हेलो डिय स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू देविका कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट अकाडमी मेन मीडियन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड एंड आल्सो डिसाइल्स पर्सेंटाइल्स एंड मीडियन वैल्यू विद ओजी कर्व्स लेस देन एंड मोर देन ओजी कर्व एंड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द क्वार्टाइल्स विद ओजी कर्व दैट एवरीथिंग वी हैव कवर्ड इन मेन आल्सो वी हैव सीन कंबाइंड मेन वेटेड मेन मिसिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी and missing frequency and combined mean all these things we have covered today we are coming to the next topic that is mode important interesting and also easy to understand mode what is mode one sentence remember mode means the most frequently occurring number is mode in other words mode means the number which is repeating many times the number which is repeating maximum times that is mode don't get confused very easy to understand today we are going to focus mode in individual and discrete series both the series okay so shall we go ahead yes now here is a small problem given to us calculate z from the following data z means mode you know that uh, x bar x bar means uh, arithmetic mean m m means median q1 is quartiles q3 is quartile 3 in the same way z is mode okay mode means z this symbol z is we use for mode now data what is given to us calculate z from the following data this is the data given how to identify this whether it is individual series or discrete series in individual series only one data will be given there is no frequency column frequency is not given so this is individual series what we are doing is first arranging the data in ascending order total data we are arranging in a ascending order solution already i have completed this arranging the ascending order means minimum number is 7 then after that 9 uh, next to 10 11 12 14 14 to 4 times 3 times we got 14 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 3 times i have written 14 okay then 15 then 17 18 also we have two times so 18 two times two times i have written after that 21 21 also two times one two two times i have written if you see the data after arranging into ascending order the most frequently occurring number the most repeating number what is that number 14 of course 18 is also repeating twice 21 is also repeating twice but 14 is repeating thrice so mode is here 14 we can write one sentence here mode is 14 as it is uh, occurring or repeating you can say occurring many times that is three times that's it so one sentence i have written so mode is 14 am i clear in individual series very simple you just have to identify which number is repeating many times i came to know that 14 is repeating three times three times thrice okay that is mode and this problem is homework for you find mode so data is given the most frequently on number occurring number answer is given to you 120 very clear easily just by looking at the board you can say right now only 120 madam yes okay okay well done well done now coming to the discrete series discrete series how do you identify x is given and also frequency is given now see evaluate z from the following data x values are this and frequency is given then individual series sorry discrete series in discrete series also the most frequently occurring number occurring number means x 3 first value 3 3 is repeating one time next number 7 is repeating three times 10 is repeating nine times 14 is repeating 17 times tally bars did you remember as per the tally bars this is the total 14 repeated For seventeen times, twenty-two, fourteen times, thirty-five times. Which number repeated many times? 
obviously 17 means 14 number is repeated 17 times. So, mode is 14. We can't say 17 is mode, 17 is frequency, so 17 times it repeated. What is repeated? 14 repeated. So, mode is 14. Now, we can write one sentence here from the above data. Most frequently frequently occurring or repeating frequency frequency is 17. Hence mode is equal to 14. This is repeated many times. So, mode is 14. So, simply writing one sentence is over. Did you understand this? If you understand, this is the homework for you. X values are given, frequency is given. Most frequently occurring number. You know that. So, the answer is 31. Got it? Do not be so happy. Let us wait. I will tell you another twist in discrete series. First, take a screenshot. Individual series, no problem. Easily you can find out. In discrete series, sometimes uh, the values of frequency, it can be like this. Suppose instead of 40, it is given say 64 and this is given 66. Means the frequency is here 10, 20, 64, 65, 66, 15. Actually, the most frequently occurring number means 65. 65 frequency is occurring many times. That means generally we can say 31 is the mode. But near to the 65, 64, 66, when you find near to the maximum number, maximum number is 65. Near to the 65, if you find any kind of numbers, you cannot simply say mode is 31 because it is repeating many times. You can't say like this. There is a process. You have to prepare grouping table and analysis table. Grouping table, analysis table. These two tables will be preparing and according to that whatever item comes many times, which is repeating item that will come to know through the grouping analysis table. Sometimes through the grouping analysis table it can be 64 or 66 also mode, possibility is there. So that is why when you find frequency like this, do not go for mode is by inspection mode is uh, uh, 31 because repeated many times. No, you cannot go like this. You have to prepare the grouping analysis table. That we will see in the next class. Just stay connected and check out the playlist. Whatever I have already covered, please follow it and do not forget to share this video because everything is free of cost. Study well, practice well, have a bright career. Good luck.